reveal for all of you um, who have come here. We have been talking about Julie's next series um, and keeping it a secret for a long time. And that series has been optioned by Universal Pictures. And we just kept it quiet because we um, didn't have our exact plans in place yet, and now we do. So I would love to have Julie show you what her next series will be. We are going to be launching the first book for this series in November 2014, so in about a year. And um, go ahead and show everybody what it is and what it's about. <laughs> book one, Talon, will be out November 2014. This is the first book of the Talon Saga. We are working, going to work closely with Universal to bring this to the silver screen as well. And now I'd like to invite Julie to come up and just tell you what Talon is about and what creatures are these? Because much as we had many demands for manticores, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> come and tell us, Julie. So the first book is called Talon. Um, of the Talon Saga, and before I show you or tell you what it's all about, I'm going to need to grab some. We have illustrations that Julie made herself. I'm sure many of you have seen her Etsy account, yeah, and so, uh, here they are. Who know, who know me at all should come, it should come as no surprise to you that the book is about dragons. Woo! <laughs> And I will show off who they are. The red one is Ember, the blue one is Cobalt. That's all I'm going to say about those for now, but they are amazing. Um, <laughs> Julie's going to come tell you a little bit more about the series, but um, I think it's her best yet, and we are incredibly excited about it. All right, so yes, I'm, I'm also very, very excited, and I can finally talk to you about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to write this book since for forever. This is this is my heart series. This is the book that I've been meaning to write. I've been meaning to share. I wanted to write about uh, this for, for for such a long time. Um, the very very first rendition of this book um, was written when I was a teenager. Um, I love dragons. That has not changed. I was always reading Dragonlance, the Chronicles of Pern. Um, anything with a dragon on the cover, I was reading it. So dragons were my first love, and that's what I first started to write about. And the first um, rendition took place in a, it was a medieval, your typical medieval fantasy with a dragon and a dragon slayer. Um, and it, I was 16, so it, you know, that book will never see the light of day. <laughs> but two characters in that book, um, Ember and Garrett, stuck with me and stayed with me. And they are two of the main characters in Talon. It is a modern day dragon story. It takes place in the modern times. The theory is that back in ancient times, the dragons were being driven into extinction from the knights, the Knights Templar and the dragon slayers. So the few remaining dragons decided they needed to do something so they decide to band together and form an organization known as Talon. And then they discovered how to make themselves human, how to appear human, and they kind of faded into human society and from history. That's the dragons disappeared, which is why there are so many dragon myths in the ancient times, but there's no dragons in the world today, or so we think. So dragons still exist among us, hidden, and there is still a war between the dragons of Talon and the dragon slayers, which are now called the Order of St. George. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, the story takes place in a coastal town where um, there is a, a, a young dragon who comes to um, learn how to be human, how to fit into human society. And she, what she doesn't know is that the Order of St. George has sent a few dragon slayers to hunt her down and kill her. And inevitably, of course, the dragon slayer and the dragon meet, and hijinks ensue, and some, you know, romance happens, and things. <laughs> <laughs> there's also a, there's also a, another faction of rogue dragons, and unbeknownst to Amber, they're also looking for her as well. So it comes down to these three organizations and these three factions that are at war with each other and all builds up to this epic 
finale in the last chapter. So that is that is a little hint, a, a little teaser of what Talon is and what it's about, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait to, to share more with you. And thank you very much for, for coming. Thank you.